weight in mountain biking has always been a hot topic and no more so than the world of XC. Now, having known to dabble in a bit of racing and the odd epic in my time, I put weight really high up in the list of priorities when it comes to my bike. So it got me thinking, with a few challenges coming up this year, just how light could I build my bike? So why would you want to make your bike as light as possible? Well, in certain disciplines, things like downhill and enduro, there's actually the argument that you definitely would not. You don't want to sacrifice things like strength or durability. However, in XC, where every gram counts and a heavier bike means more energy used to get the thing moving, surely lighter is better. The starting point then on my quest to crush the kilos is this, my Obeya Oys M-Team XC bike, already a very capable machine. However, I want to make it lighter, which is hopefully going to make it faster and means I can go further. But don't worry, I'm under no illusion that I'm pretty tough on bikes, so it does need to be sturdy as well. Here we are then people in the tech set and ready to rock. Now the bike in the stand as you see it is 12 kilos on the dot surprisingly. So I think let's get started, let's take off the bits we're not going to need and really dive into this ultra lightweight build. First big saving then, this bottle cage is off, carbon one's gonna go on, there's a 237 gram difference there. So Mr. Editor, take that weight off. I've taken the spares off as well, that's another 205 grams off of the counter there. Now I am aware that obviously on some of the epic rides that some of this stuff may go back on, but for XC racing especially, that stuff's staying off. So I'm switching out the drivetrain on this for access. We'll get to that in a little bit, but we're gonna get rid of the uh, original stuff on there at the moment, then we're gonna move on to the wheels, which actually is a humongous one. The wheels are a huge area where weight can be saved. So I said before, when it comes to weight saving and performance, there are huge gains to be had when it comes to wheels and tires. So for this, I'm using these bad boys. These are Biker Head Composites 26 XC wheels, weighing a staggering 1100 or so grams. A wheel set, insane. They're regarded as one of the lightest weight wheels out there. Now combine that with Vittoria XC race casing tires. Those are about 690 grams. No, we're not going tubeless, people. No, we're actually going super lightweight inner tubes. These are Tubalito inner tubes. They're around 85 grams per tube. That's over 100 grams lighter than a standard inner tube. And across the course of a tubeless system, we're probably gonna save about 200 grams. So if we combine the wheels, the tires, the taking off the spares, even just swapping out the bottle cage, we've saved over a kilogram in weight already. Boom, pump her up. The wheels are done and I've stuck them to one side then. Now we're gonna replace the fork. So the 34s are going and a RockShox SID Ultimate is going on. No real difference in weight, but I love how a RockShox feels. And also they're a 35 mil stanchion, so they're a little bit stiffer on the ride as well when I really do hammer them hard. So let's get these off and get the new ones on.
Okay, forks are in. Now, it was a bit of a process, because what you've got to do, bar and stem's got to come off, and I've actually, the way that the hosing's rooted, I've rerouted the hose, the rear brake through, the rear hose, if you like. So that's ready to go now. Forks are good, steer is cut to the right length, everything's where it should be. So now it's time to move on to the cockpit. And actually for the cockpit, I've got something pretty special. So these are the old bars, these are the new ones. There's 30 grams difference. These have got Zerbel access shifters built into them. So 30 grams heavier, but actually already got two shifters on them. So overall, a much bigger saving. This one's got me excited, people. So the brakes that I've gone for are half of the weight of the previous brakes. They are Trickster Picklers, weighing in at around 316 grams. For the pair, they are ridiculously light. I've already threaded the back one on because I needed to do that to get the hosing through to change out the bars uh, on there. Front one, primed and ready here. So let's get to work on uh, putting the brakes on. But that, Mr. Editor, is another 300 grams off of our weight, please. Okay, the wheels are on then. So now it's time to move on to the drivetrain. There's very little difference in weight here, so there's virtually no change in the counter. So let's get that fit. Okay, flip box is now on and looking pretty tidy at the front there. The mech hasn't actually turned up in the post yet, so we're gonna move on to all the contact points. Okay, so I've binned off the dropper. I just feel that they're often not needed. And for maximum weight saving, this has saved me over another 350 grams. So, Mr. Editor, take that off of our counter. But I'm still waiting on the flipping mech, so we'll have to check back in in a bit. Right, it's the grand way in time, people. The bike is built and finished, and I am pretty impressed with it. It's, it's a stunning looking build. So, I've not weighed it yet, so this is gonna be brand new for both of us, and let's see what we've got. Hold her steady, Rich. What are we saying? 9.71 kilos, not sub 10 kilos for 120 mil full suspension XC bike, that's absolutely insane. So bear in mind, this is a size large and that's with pedals as well. Bonkers, I cannot wait to get this bike out on the trails, do some XC racing and get exploring on it. Look, let me know what you think of my build in the comments down below. I'm absolutely gagging to know what you guys reckon. If money was no object, I'm sure we could make it even lighter. Would you change any parts? Again, let me know, but I think it's about time we took this beast for an absolute spin. Keep your eyes peeled for it in the videos in the future, but me and Ron Burgundy, we're out of here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.